The tri-state area is full of unique buildings. In keeping with surrounding area architecture, historic districts, or new modern masterpieces, most notice the care and effort spent outside for all to see. But what people sometimes don't realize is the look and feel of the inside of a building is just as important as the outside, especially when it comes to unique elevator creations. The elevators are are usually updated because, as my father said one time, the elevators are the eyes to the lobby. CEC right now is recognized as one of the leading elevator cab companies out in the, especially in the tri-state area of that nation. And we do a lot of the major work, and we were actually contacted by also elevator consultants. Because as this pandemic were, was going on, people were trying to figure out what to do with the buildings right now and move forward and they approached us knowing who we are in this industry. The importance of having clean air in businesses basically is that we're not going to get sick. Um, I think this pandemic is a wake-up call telling us now how important indoor air quality is, is that if you don't have clean air, you have areas and pockets inside buildings that where people can get sick. And whether it comes down to SARS, COVID-2, or, or uh, the pandemic that we're in, or even the common cold or flu, cleaning the air is the way to get past all that. Uh, cleaning of elevators right now, uh, very, very difficult. Uh, you get commercial buildings where the cars are basically in a constant use, constant demand. Right now it's limited down to someone going inside and trying to wipe the car down with some kind of rags, cleaning agents, or disinfectants. In order to keep elevators safe and clean, Nick Gretzik developed Sterilift. With its advanced technology, Sterilift continues to clean elevators 24-7. How does Sterilift work? It's a very simple principle. I kind of paid attention to what ASHRAE and, and the real authorities are looking at, and we based it upon a few very simple steps. One, remove the air from the elevator. If you remove the air from the elevator effectively and rapidly, you're removing all the particles with it that could be contagious. Once you remove that from the elevator, you're working with filters to actually filter those particles out of the air. We based our system on a filter called a MERV-13 filter, which is a very high efficiency. MERV-13 takes about 98% of the particles out of the air that are within 0.3 microns to 10 microns. And then we're basically putting in the safest uh, means that possible that we can put inside of uh, a germicidal property of actually cleaning the air and looking through all different things like ion based and all different types of processes that we could use we basically came down to UVC. What we're doing is we're, we're providing a service that's not only cleaning the air and cleaning and getting rid of all the uh, viruses that might be in the air, all the particles in the air, but if you clean the particles out of the air they never have a chance to actually settle on the surface. So what in effect you're going to wind up having is the same thing as like taking a uh, a, a very powerful type of filter and putting it inside your house. Not only will you be able to breathe better, but you're going to have a less dust. You're going to have less things building up on your surfaces. This also, in effect, happens inside the elevator. Our flagship project right now, a big one, is One Pen, which is right next to the Madison Square Garden right now. That's been a, a major project for us with Vernado. Uh, we did all of Brookfield Place down, down at the city at the end there. We did 120 Broadway, 599 Lexington, 299 Park. Uh, Hilton, been very blessed as far as having a great staff, great people who have been able to uh, engineer these kind of projects and it's uh, our reputation of pretty much handling all these type of projects has preceded us. To learn more about custom elevators or about Sterilift, visit their website, CECelevator.com, Sterilift.com, or watch this segment again on InsideTheBlueprint.com.